Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good day all. So in today's video, we are going to look at the eye, the ear, and the sense of hearing and balance. So introduction to the ear and its function. The ear is a complex organ responsible for hearing and balance. So our ears, they are complex organs that we use them for hearing and balancing. And this ear is divided into three main parts. We have the we have the outer part, we have the middle ear, and we have the inner ear. So these are the three major parts and the component of the eye. So we have the outer ear, we have the middle ear, and then we have the inner. So this is the air, and as we can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is the outer air, this is the middle air, and this is the inner air. So these are the three major components or major part of our ear. And as we can see, ladies and gentlemen, in the middle ear, we have ossicles. That is the smallest bones that are found in humans. And as you can see here, the uh the, the the middle ear as you can see okay i think let's continue you will understand it better so understand that it is structure it helps to explain how we perceive sound and maintain equilibrium so if you are able to understand the structure of our ear we'll be able to understand how we perceive sound and also maintain equilibrium so the outer ear the outer ear is also known as pina so pina is also known as the outer ear so the pina or the external part of the ear it captures sound from the environment so usually it is our pina or the outer part of our ear that captures that receive or collect sound waves from the environment. And the ear, the ear canal direct these sound waves toward the eardrum. So when our pinna or the outer ear receives sound waves, it will direct the sound waves to the eardrum. So this is actually the auricle, which is the outer ear. It is made up of different components where we have helix, we have anti-helix, we have anti-tragos, we have lobal, conquer, tragos, and auditory canal, as well as fossa. So these are the outer ear or the fina, and these are the different parts of the pina. So you see the pinna or the ear canal or uh, the external part of our ear, it captures the sound waves from the environment and then it transmits it or directs the sound waves to the eardrum. So the shape of the outer ear helps determine the direction of the sound. So we know that, ladies and gentlemen, we have different shape of our outer ear and each of these our outer ear have different shape and also it what determine the direction of the sound so then the next one is the middle ear so you see we finish with the outer ear so the major role of the outer ear is to perceive or is to capture information from the environment and send it to the air drum so don't forget about this so after that, the middle ear contains the eardrum. So we found the eardrum at the middle ear, which vibrates, which vibrates when sound waves hit it. So see from the pinna or the outer ear, we capture sound waves and it is sent to the middle ear directly to the air drum and the sound waves hit the air drum 
And very importantly, in the middle ear, it houses the three tiny bones, which are called ossicles. So in humans, we have the smallest bones in humans, they are called ossicles, and they are found in the middle ear. And these three bones, we have malleus, incus, steps. So these are the three ossicles or the three tiny bones that are found in the ear. So this is it. So we have eardrum here. So you see from the air canal or from the pinna, the pinna captures the sound waves first through the air canal and then hit the air drum. And very importantly, these bones, they are very important in amplifying the vibration and transmit them to the inner ear. So you see number one, the pinna or the outer ear capture sound, pass through the air canal, hit the air drum, and then the sound will be amplified by the, the three bones, which is the incus, malleus, and the steps. And after the amplification, then it will now be transmitted to the inner ear. And very importantly, the inner ear includes the cochlea. The cochlea is a spiral shaped organ vital for hearing. So in the inner ear, we have cochlea, which is actually having a spiral shape. So it has a spiral shape. And the major role of the cochlea is for hearing. And it contains the vestibular system which helps maintain balance. So you see, you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the inner ear from here, you can see that it is responsible for hearing balance. The hearing nature of the inner ear is because of the presence of cochlea, a spiral shape organ. And then in addition, apart from the cochlea, the inner ear contains vesicular system. So the vesicular system is responsible for maintaining balance while cochlea for hearing. So in a simple term, ladies and gentlemen, the inner ear is responsible for maintaining or is responsible for hearing and balance. And the balance nature of the inner ear is due to the presence of cochlea while the presence of the system is what actually helps in maintaining balance. So the cochlea convert the vibration. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, the sound waves is captured by the pinnae. Move through the air canal to the air drum. And once it hits the air drum, the ossicles amplify it and send it to the inner ear. So it's the work of the cochlea to convert the vibrations that, ampl that was amplified by the ossicles into the nerve signals to sent to the brain. So you see the cochlea combats the vibrations into a nerve signals, that is electrical signal, which will be sent to the brain for interpretation. So that is the most important thing that you need to understand, ladies and gentlemen. Cochlea for hearing, vestibular system for balance, and the cochlea combat the vibrations that were amplified by the ossicles into nerve signals which will be sent to the brain. So what are the process of hearing? The process of hearing, sound waves are collected by the outer ear and funnel and funneled to the air drum. The vibrations are transferred through the ossicles to the cochlea. So remember the outer ear captures the sound wave from the environment sent to the or funnel to the air drum. And once it hits it, then the ossicles amplify it, which will transfer to the cochlea and then the cochlea 
transform the vibration into electrical signals and then interpret it by the brain. So that is what happened. So the sound waves enter the ear canal and the sound waves create vibrations in the bones of the middle ear. And then these vibrations are converted into electrical signals in the cochlea. And then the signals are sent to the brain via the auditory nerve pathway. So auditory nerve pathway, it is a nerve that take the electrical signals converted by the cochlea to the brain for interpretation. So this is the process of hearing, ladies and gentlemen. Please, the video is made is what was made very simple and please ladies and gentlemen don't forget please try to subscribe to the youtube channel subscribe to the youtube channel so that once we upload we can watch more of the video so then the next thing is the vesticular system and balance so the vesticular system it consists of semicircular canal and Ortholeth organs in the inner ear. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, in the inner ear, it contains vesticular system, which is very important in maintaining balance. But in addition, the vesticular system itself, it consists of semicircular canals and ortholeth organs in the inner ear. And it directs or it detects the head movement and position relative to gravity so the signals from this system have to maintain first two uncoordinated movements so you see it is the work of the vestibular system vestibular system to detect head movements our the head movement and also position relative to gravity so it is the work of the vestibular system and the signals from the vestibular system, it helps us in maintaining postural and coordinate movements. So how do we maintain balance? The inner ear sends information to the brain about our body position. So it is the work of the inner ear to send information to the brain about body position. And the brain integrates signals from vestibular system the eyes and the muscles. So the profile balance depends on the coordination of these sensory inputs. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, the inner ear, the inner ear usually send information to our brain about our body position. And it is the work of the brain to integrate the signals from the vestibular system the eyes and the muscles in order to maintain balance. So a profile balance defined on the coordination of the sensory inputs. So the sensory input from the vestibular system, from the eyes and the muscles are integrated in order to maintain a profile balance. So uh, the next thing is what are the common air disorders and issues so air infections such as otitis media can cause pain and hearing loss so we can have ear infections which is called otitis hearing loss may result from damage to the ear structures or nerve pathways so if there is a problem with auditory nerve pathway as well as the eye structure, we may experience the eye, uh, sorry, the hearing, we may experience hearing loss. So then the balance problems can be caused by inner ear infections or vestibular disorders. So this is what causes the problem of balancing the inner ear infections or vestibular disorders. So protecting your eye and hearing, how do you protect our eye and hearing? Avoid exposure to loud noises to prevent hearing damage. Keep your ears clean and dry to reduce the risk of infections. So you have to make sure that you try as much as possible to keep your eye clean. 
So regular checkups can help detect and treat ear problems early. So you should avoid loud noises in order to protect your ear. So summary and key takeaway, uh, takeaways. The ear is essential for both hearing and maintaining balance. The structures include the outer, middle, and the inner ear, which each with specific functions. So protecting ear health is important for overall well-being and sensory function. So ladies and gentlemen, this is where we are going to stop. Please don't forget to subscribe and join to my YouTube community for more videos. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.